Welcome to CETUS VoIP phone video training series. This video will focus on understanding and configuring port mirroring for diagnostics. Port mirroring is setting up the LAN port to send a duplicate copy of send and receive traffic to a capture device. This allows the user to see what could be happening and what problems there might be. Let's configure the port mirroring function of the phone. First, we're going to go to the web UI of the phone. One, zero. If you need the web, um, the IP address to go to that, press star star four seven pound on the keypad. Enter the username and password. And we are going to go to LAN settings. Next to WAN LAN mirror enable, select enable and apply. The phone will prompt you to reboot, so go ahead and reboot it. Now that the phone is rebooted, you should plug in your, your laptop or other capture device into the LAN port of the phone. Now in this tutorial, we as I assume that you have already downloaded and installed Wireshark. If you haven't, please do that for your operating system. It's usually fairly simple to install, and you can find it by going to wireshark.org. Let's go there real quickly. Um, and select the download icon. Okay, I already have it downloaded, so let's take a look at Wireshark. I don't have the phone plugged in yet, so let's plug it in. Plug this cable, plug it into the LAN port, and it should be the Ethernet EN0 or whatever the interface is that you're connecting to. Okay, we can see a lot of traffic while the phone's booting. This isn't actually from the phone, but just general broadcast traffic. In order to see traffic from the phone, we need to filter by its MAC address, which you can find on the back of the phone. Let me just go ahead and stop that. Look at the back of the phone and input the MAC address. So, the command to do that is going to be eth.80... Um, eth.adr equal and then the MAC address without the colons 019f30f5286 oh, we're missing something maybe it's the MAC address with colons never mind it's the MAC address with colons so make sure to copy that string from the back of your phone, press enter. So these are the actual packets from the phone. Um, I'm going to actually reboot this again now that we have the MAC address. The phone is booting back up. You should see initializing and after that you should see waiting on network. It takes about 45 seconds for the phone to completely boot. All right, so see 802.1x there. My network doesn't have that enabled, so it moves on to LLDP. Um, and then we see the DHCP request for the phone to get an IP address. After it's gotten the IP address, it makes an NTP request and goes through and requests this configuration file and also registers to the SIP server if you have all of that configured. That's it for this tutorial, but feel free to visit our support site.